Hello, hello. Good morning. Um, it's October 2020 and we're still here. Uh, we're still together. We're getting into last week and that's really exciting. Um, so last couple of days, um, what's coming up? So first, good morning. Hope everyone is good. No one's videos on, so I can't see anyone. Anyone's, uh, Yevabel's videos on, so I can see him smiling. I saw him yesterday and um, yeah, so I know he's doing well, even though the chair that he's sitting in. Um, so from my side, some admin stuff. So this week, uh, at least from my side, I want to start getting, our goal is that everyone gets something as real as possible. We're out of, um, we're out of sort of training mode. And so uh, we're going to, I'm going to start at least getting pushy. I think some of the groups, I just gave everyone feedback on their second internal touch points. Some are doing really well. Some are, could use a little bit more detail, but it sounds like everyone is making progress. And so I want to encourage everyone and I, take this as a client deliverable we want to produce something by saturday and so look forward to that um yeah in terms of next couple of days we're gonna have a couple of things coming up so next week we're still planning to do freelancing week um we'll be announcing more details probably tomorrow on what exactly that'll look like it's going to be very much um learn together and learn as we go um, but the main point is let's, so instead of just everyone going off and doing their own thing, let's spend that time together figuring out together um, how can we each get onto a profile, onto a system such as Upwork, and everyone earns at least $1. So as we found that when a whole bunch of people are working together and sharing and communicating, we can figure out a lot of things much, much, much faster and much more quickly than any one person doing it by him or herself. So that's our plan for next week. Lots of things coming up in the next couple of days. Um, so feedback systems, so we need to learn what went well and what didn't well. So keep an eye out for that. We're going to be announcing that. Um, we're going to be talking about alumni and how do we stay in touch, what happens after this. Um, still the push for jobs. Jobs are super slow. People are not giving us feedback. Um, there are a handful of people who have gone for these tests, but still no feedback. So that's something... That is what it is. Um, we're going to be talking about opportunities to help us out as we think about Batch 4 Plus, but also what does 10 Academy look like? Um, those of you who are really active on Slack may have seen um, a post from Yevabel talking about being tenacious. Um, so that's something to keep an eye out for. How do we, um, what name do we give to the community? And just to, uh, so certificates, we're going to talk about certificates. I'm going to be asking for feedback on what sort of certificate would be useful and how do we make uh, this the most as useful as possible. Graduation ceremony, our current plan is next Friday, um, but we'll be asking for feedback on that to make sure it fits for everyone. Thinking of an hour, hour and a half, everyone has their video on and sort of a, it'd be fun, it'd be good to, to make it fun, um, but also to mark the end of, ceremonies are good in some ways because I think we've, we've definitely achieved something together and it'll be nice to um, mark that with a nice event. Um, and last point from, for me to mention, and then I'll stop, is that we will be, so I don't, we couldn't have done batch three without uh, Jean. So Jean is one of our first graduates from batch one, and the without his guidance and his input and just effort and keeping things going, we wouldn't have been able to do this one. And so in a very similar way, we're going to look to each of you to give us ideas, to give us feedback. Um, it was actually Jean's idea that he comes and joins because we were looking for someone to help out. And he's like, look, I'm, I want to do this. I'm well-placed and I think it will be useful. I don't know if he's online right now. But in a similar way, when you see opportunities, um, we will be actively in touch, but we can't be in touch as much as when any of you sees an opportunity or learns something and says, hey, this is an opportunity for us to do something. We will do our best to be responsive and to be active. And so we will be, um, we want to build that sort of community. It's not that you're, it's not a one and done, but that we have a dialogue, we have an interaction towards this goal that all of us share that today we're 35 people, but we want to build a system where we can get not 35, not 350, but even um, 3,500, or really that all hungry, tenacious, brilliant young people who want to make a difference globally can do that. And so in order to get to there, we're going to need your ideas and your input. So um, just to summarize, so this week, let's keep let's keep our heads down and working hard, having fun, I hope, along the way to deliver this client uh, project, information on graduation and feedback and certificates and um, freelancing week and all of those things uh, coming up next.
And yeah, I'm happy to be back in Berlin. I was in Munich last two days, got some time with my colleague uh, and friend Yebabel. And so we got walked around a lot and talked. And that was uh, there's somehow no replacement for face to face. So that was that was nice. I hadn't left the city in six months. So somehow uh, my my stand up, it was the thrill of being on a train and not being on my bicycle was uh, unusually high. Yeah, yeah. Well from my side. Yeah, so I, I think I think that's yeah, like the the week is busy, but at the same time, I think the the I can I can feel it. I think in the community as well, there is really a, people are trying to do their best, and definitely we can put our whatever we learned. I mean, you know, like well, for me, one of the important thing to know is that we're no more asking like how to do what kind of programming, right? It's it's kind of we're actually talking about how to extract insight, how to, you know, be useful to a client, how to add value, which is really where we want to get in. We are there and I'm really, I'm, I'm happy. Like, and I, yesterday I talked to all groups and yeah, there are definitely still experiences that we need to learn, like kind of how to optimize and how to kind of build intuition, like to what is in which direction or how much work do you put in to get something. Um, but but that's kind of experience. But the, the kind of the basic ingredients are there. Like we know how to do. We know what you know. Like there's nothing uh, holding us in terms of going and and getting what we want. So that's the the skill part, the potential part. That's can for me is like really good. We are cemented and solid. Definitely experience will come, and so that's really great. And definitely keeping this the community. And I think for me the you know I, I shared the report this the. Um, state of ai in 2020 and and since the beginning since at least i got actively involved in ai um in 2015 one of the thing that i understood the difference between developing countries and developed countries is that most of in the developed countries there is an opportunity someone just sees that opportunity and gone like for us we are learning but our platform our community it's not there to actually make us get the right people to interact with get a startup for specializing in and seizing the opportunity to be better and i think that's what really the dream for ten academy is like in general is to really form that community where you can kind of come together build um, when there's an opportunity it could be like you know ai for agriculture ai for health ai for community service ai for this or in another type of data science but like kind of you kind of we seize it make it useful for our own challenge and build on that our career and I was also just like you know um, get life out of it and that's really my dream and I think hopefully we'll keep in contact but yeah this this week um let's continue we'll have a dialogue throughout the day on because we want to get by today just really focused and tomorrow is more about writing getting exactly the plots and stuff so we'll yeah we'll, we'll do that so just I'll stop there and um, all right, super. Uh, so let's go by groups. Uh, Milky Way. Uh, who can give us an update from Milky Way? Don't all unmute at once, Team Milky Way. Is there, there must be somebody from Milky Way here. All right, I'm going to start calling names from Milky Way. Uh, so who do we have? Uh, Anna. We have Anna. What about Anna? Binyam, Erica, Elakura, Anna, Jeanette. Right here. <laughs> uh, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It took, a, it, it took a while to get to all the way. Can you, yeah, you're, you're, I, avo I you're avoiding answering. Yeah, I didn't want to talk every day, so I was, I was giving chance for for the others. Yeah, so um, uh, I would say uh, we're doing good. Uh, some of my teammates had a meeting with Abbas yesterday, and uh, they shared what they learned uh, from it uh, in our private channel and we're adjusting our workflow based on that. 
Uh, so we also updated the schedule. We gave it to you. You you gave us feedback. Uh, so um, so we're we're going to work on that. You have asked some questions. Uh, so we we incorporated the updated schedule uh, into the into last week's schedule. I guess that was confusing for you, Arun. We didn't want to delete like the last week's schedule. We just we just wrote it on its own uh, slide. So. I, I saw it afterwards, but I think um, yeah. I, so it's just a point of feedback. I think in in terms of general, normally if it's if it's updated, you don't need to put the old one there. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I didn't I didn't want to delete that. Okay. Uh, no, it's fine. So, it's, it's a minor point, but this is I mean, take this feedback as not a we're not integrating okay. anymore, but we're trying to give feedback towards the let's say making it as smooth or as normal as possible. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, today uh, we're going to um, we're going to uh, review the data that we collected this week uh, by hand and uh, see if we can get any insights and if we can construct the hypothesis that we can test. Uh, and uh, some 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 of my my teammates are going to do the pre-processing to get the data ready for sentiment analysis. So uh, hopefully we'll be. Uh, starting the sentiment analysis tonight and run it overnight so that we can get our initial findings uh, tomorrow uh, so i would say i would say uh, we're doing good uh, i have really amazing teammates and if there's any feedback from you uh, you can you can forward it thanks so just a quick question before you unmute and before elicor takes over do you think without the aws resources would you have been able to do this task I think yes. I mean, like, I know this is not the answer <laughs> you want to hear, but no, um, no, I want to. I want to hear the actual answer. I mean, we're experimenting. We don't know the. Tr we don't know the right answer, so this is why we're asking. Yeah, as far as I know, and as far as what we're doing until now, I think we would have been good with our own laptops or Google Colab because. Um, I mean, like, we're not in a point where we where we. Um, where we immediately jump to a very CPU intensive tasks. Uh, we are not uh, that experienced. We, we had to learn a, a lot of things firsthand. And in that period, uh, we didn't have anything to run on AWS. But uh, I think uh, for the next for the next two or three days, probably the last two or three days, I think we're going to need that. Uh, because time time will be uh, critical then and we'll figure out like what exactly we need to do but until now like we haven't we haven't actually done anything uh, intensive uh, I'd okay. say just to be honest yeah okay Elokura uh, you're basically up next okay yeah good morning uh, I think Biniam has said everything but my question is this yesterday I was trying to mine to it and I use screen I think the question is for Yababa, and I use screen to mine overnight, but when I just closed my laptop, the thing got disconnected. I don't know why. I don't know why. So, I and if, if I just answer quickly, like, if you run on Jupyter Notebook, Jupyter Notebook is running in the background, and it has a mechanism to shut down when connection is off. So, and... If you want to run anything, just you have to run it on a screen, and then it should be fine, like a, a script, yes. a Python script. I, 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 it was a Python script. I run it like a Python script, and whenever I just disconnect, team just tell me that um, user something, something, something has disconnected and something like that. I run a Python script. I converted my... I mean, if you, if you share, if it's in a screen, it's probably there. It's running. It's finished. So probably you should see the outcome. So of course, when you logged out and logged in, you don't go to the, the where it was there. It's just called a screen. You have to get into the screen. Um, but we can, I think that has been a kind of a bit confusion about screen. Some people trying to run um, also Jupyter on screen. I think, I mean, I understand this is just a very fast, we got into this slightly different operational mode at the end. Uh, it would have been easier if we started early, but. Yeah, I mean, I, I can, I can kind of like, if you have a specific question, in particular, what was like, what did you run? Like, if you tell me, like, in the in a message, I can, I can comment where that probably was, you know, the issue was. Okay. 
Can I add something? Yeah, go on, um, Janet. Okay, uh, I need first to <clears throat> to oppose Binyam what has Binyam said. I think without AWS, uh, the, the guys who mined uh, the data for our, our group wouldn't do that because they are mining a lot of data and some leave their script and go to sleep. I think we, we wouldn't be able to mine those kind of data with our own machine. Thank you. Arun, you are muted. I'm saying in response to Jeanette, we could have replaced AWS with coffee. You guys could have each just taken a lot of coffee and not had to go to sleep then. That would have been efficient. <laughs> Let's go to another group, but I think it's a uh, the, the problem is that when you have power disconnection, that's not that's not gonna be an issue, or when you have no internet connection. But I mean, I, I think yeah, the points are like let's see also from other groups. I'm sure I have seen a lot of people using Google Colab, which is great. I think that's that's a fantastic thing, and it's a, a lot more reflects on how not easy it is to work in a new environment. I think if you have a good environment, if you have an environment you got used to already, it's not that second-hand nature to, to move. So it's, I understand, I think that's a good comment, but it's good to hear from everyone. Okay. Uh, did you see me? Good morning, everyone. Morning. Okay, so I'm, I'm talking for Timu Ubuntu. So like most of my teammates are not around, so I think I, I just have to stand in for them. All right, so what we did yesterday after our talk with Yeba Bell, so we decided, you know, Yeba Bell said we should not use retweet, so we focus on the actual tweet. So what we did was that, because actually we, we, have, we, have, we have just very few tweets because of when we tried to look for the COVID-19 ones and the one related to food quality, we were actually very, very specific on food quality. So they were very small. So what we did now was that the usernames we got from all those small tweets, we tried to mine it again. So that um, Naomi is doing that. So it got so we, we, so we now have like 12,000 tweets now. But he said he, he said he's going to look for what to do, maybe a regular expression code, you know, in order to remove all the retweets from the twelve thousand tweets. So apart from the ones the twelve thousand we have already from from now, then Gerald also is using. Um, is also we also got some usernames again and some new usernames on food. So we want we just want to have a lot of tweets. And as regarding the AWS server, it's Gerald. I'm not the one handling that. Like they are the ones. So I'm just. I'm just keeping up with what they are doing. So, so that's it for now. I don't know if maybe after this um, meeting now we should have we should have a meeting. So I want to know the progress. If they if they've been able to find something to actually remove the retweets and just get the actual tweet. So we are still in the data gathering stage also. So that's it for my team. Great, thank you. I think let let's catch up also just on a quick that there sometimes is misunderstanding because we are online talking. When I say don't use a retweet, it's just more saying don't use the same retweet again and again. That biases the result. But if you understand that, great. But let's catch up. Let, let's confirm that we are in the same page. The same for every group. I, I mentioned the same uh, comment. But it's good to kind of make sure that we understand. Retweets are important. The time that something is retweeted, that's also important. It's an information. It's not about throwing data. It's about balancing what you know not counting twice the same data so um let's let's make sure on that but let's because of the time let's go to either anyone from that group if they want to say it, but to another group otherwise maybe i can just ask the team ubuntu the same question about aws uh, so i'm not the one I don't know about like I've not used my I've been having issues I've not even been able to use my AWS so it's Gerald and Naum that will be able to answer that. Okay, neither of them are here. Okay, all right. Thank you, uh, Brian, for Team uh, Afia. Yes. Um. Good morning. Morning. Yeah. So. Um, Okay, maybe I can start with the feedback on uh, AWS. Um, yeah, I think uh, for the most in, in, in intensive task, like um, yeah, um, 
scraping data uh, using the best is really convenient. But then uh, I think uh, adapting to the environment is kind of tricky, especially uh, when, when you have uh, like uh, connecting it to maybe Google Drive. I'm, I'm not pretty con I mean, conversant with that. And uh, yeah, generally, I think that's the general feedback. But uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's convenient for heavy task studies. I actually was enjoying the speed at which uh, tasks were running on AWS and the sites until uh, there was a little interruption. Uh, I think at that point, uh, we, we got a little bit uh, um, set back because uh, all our files were there and we couldn't access, uh, access them and we had to restart writing new codes on uh, Google Colab and uh, our local notebooks and you know, but yeah. But anyway, it's a good experience. I was already uh, starting to adapt a bit. Um, so on our uh, group task, uh, okay, yesterday we gave feedback. Actually, this week it's it's uh, promising for our team. Uh, uh, we we decided to to like do things iteratively. Like we we get there's a maybe a, a shortage in data or something. Somebody the data as you, someone else does the analysis, as, a, as someone else does the visualization. So yeah, so the major maybe uh, uh, focus of today, we, we're looking at the EDA part still, and we're also looking at the topic modeling. Uh, we're trying to incorporate all the ideas that we shared with us yesterday. Cool. Very good to hear about this uh, sort of interactive and fast feedback mode. I think that's the type of thing that um, we're recommending and that's that's needed um, to get the most out of your time. Uh, which group is next? Uh, Kaizen? Kaizen is already gone, I think. Uh, no, Team Kaizen. Who's up next from Kaizen? Tim Kaisen. Okay, uh, maybe I can go. Okay. So, well, uh, I should first start with uh, AWS. It's been really uh, helpful to us. And uh, yeah, our code was running for like eight hours and we don't know if uh, our machines could have uh, managed that. So it's really been helpful to us in all times. So on the part of the project, we are doing well, we are progressing well. And uh, I think the sessions that we always have daily with Yabi, they, they are good because they help us to expand our minds and think deeper. So yesterday after having a session with Yabi, we went back and re rearranged our priorities. And right now we are, we are really focusing on uh, Allow me to use Yabi's words, milking the data and getting more insights and going deeper. And uh, it's really good and it's promising. And also we have uh, increased the quality of our data. And uh, yeah, I think that's all. Okay, cool. So it sounds like you guys are on track. Uh, Orion? Uh, good morning, everyone. Morning, everyone. Uh, so, with the AWS, um, uh, the member in our group that is responsible for mining the tweets has really enjoyed um, using the AWS. It's kind of saving a lot of time and um, saving a lot of um, compute power as well. So, really, give it and does the work for us. Uh, regarding the team, we had a little bit of session with the ABSD. It pointed us to some of the directions we're supposed to be focusing on and then um, told us where we're supposed to improve. And then we have been working on that. We uh, we have a little bit of questions and answering um, session yesterday with our notebook. And then um, everything is going on smooth and nice. We still have um, plans to finish everything tomorrow. So we can do the fine tuning on Friday and have a good solution on Saturday. And then we are working on 
creating stories so that it makes sense and then portray um, whatever insights you have been able to find out from the data. And then the interaction with the group is also awesome. And no blockers so far, and we are enjoying it. Thank you. Great. Uh, last up, Team Alpha. Are you guys still called Team Alpha? This is uh, Kevin. Yeah, hello. Hi. Hi, Kevin. Um, hello. Good morning. Um, Are you on the ship? my team and I. Yes. Are you on a ship? Sounds like a horn in the Yes. <laughs> I'm traveling. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just in my bedroom. Um, okay. So I don't know where the, the horn is coming from. <laughs> Maybe the kids outside. <laughs> Uh, so for us, for my team and I, we've we've been working on. Let me start with the AWS feedback. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying the AWS because it gives us more computational power than we have, and we can do tasks better over there than we can on our machines. Um, although for we had a challenge with mining data on AWS because AWS servers are blocked, are, are blocked by Twitter, so we couldn't mine using using AWS services, but for the rest, um, for the sentiment analysis, some of the models, yeah, we're running them on AWS, and that's a huge help for us. And our main focus will be on EDA. Um, we had our ses a session with the other ball yesterday, and it said we need to get more insights from the data and get a story from the data. So that's what we'll be fo focusing on, getting our data to tell us a story about air quality. And that's all I think. Cool. Okay. Uh, I don't see Prosper online, but we're uh, one minute early for this. And we're, uh, we have Rahel and we have Mokali. So I think that means the AMA is ready to go. We have the two of the three necessary ingredients. So Mokali, um, I'm going to put on my Prosper voice and ask you to, un to turn on your camera, if possible. Unmute, um, Wakali, please warm your fingers up. Yes. Um, what am I supposed to do? No, no. I'm just teasing. <laughs> oh. I'm just teasing. Yeah. Rahel is in the hot seat today. Okay. Is Rahel here? Uh, yes. Hi, Rahel. Yeah. All right, you're up. Please uh, open by telling us who you are. Who's Rahel? Okay. Um, I'm opening the camera, right? If you can turn your camera on, that would be great. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Hi. Hi. So, uh, I am Rahel. And uh, what was the question again? Who is Ra? So in Prosper, always ask who is Ra help. Oh. oh, okay. So, um, mm, okay. Let me start with I am a proud Ethiopian who, who likes to exercise a lot, and um, um, I like science. I like uh, yeah. I like friends. And I'm a family person. And uh, yeah, I think those things would define me. So the rest of the questions are coming in the chat. So over to, over to you to answer all the questions coming in the chat. OK. First thing I'm saying right here. My favorite book to read. Um, I like economics books, so. Uh, How old are you? I'm 23. I turned 23 on June 18th. Um, what's your favorite game or school to watch? Uh, my favorite game to, to play is uh, football. I really love football. And uh, yeah, uh, to watch, I don't watch a lot of uh, games, I, I just play. 
Have you ever had a nickname? Uh, my friends call me Rich, and uh, but nothing else. How would my friends describe me? Um, I think they think I am, I'm quiet. Like I'm quiet a lot, so. Uh, and uh, what would they think? My friends think uh, I'm calm and mostly relaxed. So, yeah. My hobbies, um, working out. I love listening to music. I, uh, sometimes I watch movies too. So yeah, those are my hobbies. What keeps me up at night? Um, actually, I'm always up at night. I mean, I have hard time sleeping mostly. And what keeps me up? Just everything, like everything that has happened during the day. I, I think I overthink sometimes. So yeah, those things keep me up, and uh, yeah, and mostly my future, like yeah, and how to get there. What's the best gift I've ever been given? Mm -hmm. My friends would be mad if they hear this, but uh, I don't think I've ever received a, a, good, a best gift. Your glass? Oh yeah, I am short-sighted. Um, like, I have been like this uh, for a long time, probably since I was a kid, I think. So, uh, yeah, they are uh, recommended. What's the worst gift you've ever received? I don't know. I don't remember. Nothing I'd say. Uh, strength training. Yeah, mostly I I I do running. I do, I run mostly in the morning, and uh, uh, and yoga. So like mostly like stretching and uh, yeah, cardiovascular. How many siblings do you have? I have uh, so I have three. Uh, I have an older brother and a younger brother, and uh, the youngest is a girl, so I'm the second. No, like, uh, so my dad was economist, so that's why I have the books. And I just read them. And where do I see yourself in five? Where do I see myself in five years? Um, I think five years is very short. Um, probably still going to be confused or probably more confused but probably in a different way so um, um, but I think I will I will somehow be able to do what I want to do of course I'm not always going to do what I want to do but I always want to but uh, somehow I'll, I'll, I'll be most of the things I do will be the things I want to do and not the things that are just available or that's um, that I should, that I will, you know, put my interest into it. Um, what is Ethiopia like? Ethiopia is a very large country with, I mean, like with different, uh, with a diversified uh, culture and people and people in language and uh, yeah, so Ethiopia is a, is a good country. <laughs> Um, where was I? My favorite animal? I don't like animals. Red in general or... <laughs> I normal in general, I don't like the red one. Do you meditate? Um, I started meditating uh, when the quarantine start started and... Um, yeah, it's, it's about mindfulness and stuff, so... I thought I was mindful enough, so I don't need meditation. That, that was wrong, but that's what it, why I stopped. And uh, mm, but yeah, it's good meditation. I, th I think uh, I like meditation. Um, but it doesn't have to. You don't have to like sit and fix time and stuff. You just have to be mindful all the time. Uh, and uh, yeah, being in the present and stuff. So I think uh, um, yeah. But it, meditation could be a good start for being uh, mindful all the time. And, so I try to be mindful all the time, so, yeah. See, I don't, I don't watch um, games. You eat raw meat? <laughs> um, 
so I I don't think I love that much. I don't love that much Romy, but so yes, I do. Yeah, and that seems weird for non Ethiopian people. I know. What kind of exercise do you, I have answered that? Are you? Uh, I don't want to say I do have insomnia, but uh, yeah. it's probably because I like to wake up late in the morning. I do have hard time sleeping. I can't sleep without, before before midnight, like, and it's probably a habit, or I don't know. But I wake up late, so I usually sleep uh, um, very late. Yeah, sometimes I feel like I'm one day behind because I, I wake up late. So. Oh, my my second my my second name is Walda Gabriel. It means the son of Gabriel, actually. What town? I live in Malala. That's the town I live in, uh, which is found in the northern part of Ethiopia. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. My favorite holiday, mm, I think Easter because okay, I think Easter is my favorite holiday because it's, it's, it's from a long fasting and uh, yeah, there are like uh, it's very celebrated in our country. So um, Easter, what's my favorite type of foreign food? I think pasta. Yeah, I actually. Eat most of the time. My favorite family tradition. What do we have? No mm. um, I don't know. If I had to pick from the three countries, I would uh, probably go to Rwanda. Yeah, because. Um, I talked to Janet a lot and she has, like, she made me feel like I want to go there. So I was like looking for some places to, that's probably uh, something I'm going to do when I get uh, enough money. My favorite childhood memory, so, um, yeah, I used to play football a lot. I used to, like uh, a lot, so my memories are mostly from there and uh, yeah, those are my favorite ones. My favorite subject, uh, I think my favorite subject has always been physics. I have, uh, that's probably why I kind of joined engineering because I thought it was more of physics and maths, but mm, it was different. So yeah, physics and uh, yeah. who's your favorite scientist? Einstein. No, I don't dance actually. I, I don't dance a lot. Probably because I don't go to weddings a lot. That's where they got the dancing. So yeah, I was talking to Binyam to to, to, to teach me how to dance. And uh, yeah. So when I'm good I will dance for you. Who's your favorite teacher? Mm, my favorite teacher in school. So uh, when I was grade eight, I had uh, an English teacher who was very good, and uh, yeah, that's my favorite teacher because because at that, at that time, they, most of the teachers they just give you one way they they want you to do as they say. But he was like uh, he was free. He let us. Um, do things on our own. He doesn't care about submissions and stuff. So, yeah, the, he was a good one. And my favorite one. I don't know, yes, she can't. No, I can't actually. Mm. I will dance for you when I'm good. If Binyam showed me how to dance, shows me. Actually, I don't need him to show me because, uh, yeah, people can show me here. Everyone dances in Ethiopia a lot. I mean, like, uh, you dance for everything. Uh, yeah, Rahid. Uh, Arun is asking about Elenta and not dance. 
<laughs> um, you can do oh, that. Yeah. No, I can't do it actually. Can you please? I, I honestly can't do it. Do it for us. How many languages? I can speak three languages. Uh, my 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 mother tongue that's called Tigrinya, and uh, the national language of Ethiopia, Amharic, and English. I started learning Spanish too, actually, but I'm uh, not that good. Well, when when will I know I made it? When I'm doing what I wanted, like if I, if everything I'm doing is the things I want to do, then I made it. But I don't know. That's sometimes I feel like it's impossible because even when you feel feel like you have everything. You just have to do things you don't like, um, but if I if I get there, then I made it. What's my best advice I've ever heard? Um, mm, mm, probably the best, the, a good advice I have heard uh, lately from me up about uh, just uh, yeah, it's it's about time you, it's it's about time to stop. Um, Proving yourself and uh, worrying about uh, the what should be done. So it's been on my mind since he said it, and uh, yeah, that's the best one. Do you want to be famous? Um, I don't think so. I want to be influential, but of course, to be influential, you could, you might need to be famous. But and if I need to be famous, well, yeah. But uh, being famous and popular and attention, I just don't like that. What's my definition of success is, um, as I said earlier, doing what you want to do while being able to help yourself, maybe financially or uh, like mentally being stable, and also your people. So if I can help myself and my people by doing what I want to do, then that's success for me. Uh, what are you most proud of in the last year? Mm -hmm. Okay, so by last year, I'm gonna, I mean, like, uh, we're in 2013, so by last year, I'm gonna say, um, I mean, uh, before like two, two, before a month. So, um, the first thing is like uh, trying to do my best in Ten Academy, yeah, pushing myself hard, and uh, other thing, uh, yeah, that's what I can remember. What do you admire most in the world? Um, what I admire most is the fact that some people just just have a goal and they don't uh, they don't get distracted and uh, and stuff. They just follow their goal, like and it it might take a lot like a lot of time and uh, so much dedication and. Um, yeah, so, but they, they don't get, not getting distracted by what happens in your life and stuff. Those things, I really admire about people, so I admire dedicated people. I admire hard work. I admire effort, I think. How, how will you like football in that sports games? I think I like it because, um, because I like sports. I like to um, be active, um, but uh, watching it, it's not active. How can someone lose my trust? Uh, first of all, it's I think it's hard for me to trust people. Not that I have trust issues, but um, I try to be rational most of the time, and uh, sometimes trust is uh, a little irrational. Sometimes, so. Yeah, if, but if I trust people, then uh, how can they lose my trust? Um, oh, it's real, obviously. How is your perspective on the world change over time? Um, I think my perspective, like if things are unpredictable, so uh, yeah, having that mindset, it, mindset is, um, I think, important. 
my dream apartment. Do I want to live in an apartment? Um, my dream apartment is... Uh, actually, I love apartments, actually. Um, but my dream apartment would be white, like everything white. White is my favorite color and uh, like well furnished and stuff. And like clean and um, a place that looks more like uh, a clean workplace, right? So people like people want their home, to, their house to feel like home, but I don't know, I feel like I like a clean workplace. So I think uh, decorate my apartment. What topics do you like to have at the other? Um, uh, actually, I want to talk about everything. Like, sometimes I, I am not good at starting conversations with people, but whatever people want to talk, I am very happy to hear. And, uh, yeah, about anything, as long as people are, as long as I feel like people are being honest to talk to, 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 there are, when I feel like people are talking, uh, uh, their feelings, their, their fear, whatever they, they feel, so I like to hear about anything, so I, I can talk about anything, not just, not talk, but I can listen, I can have a dialogue about anything, maybe I might say a little. Uh, my bucket list to go into an island. I have always loved that. Never been one into one, so yeah, maybe that's it. And uh, getting a good job. What do I do for fun? Um, I think I have talked about my hobbies, so yeah, those things. Oh, I didn't hear then. Oh, okay. So what I okay, sorry. What I want to do is, uh, I like exercising. I like playing. I like playing with uh, with kids, um, because they play a lot. Uh, what else? Do I, um, yeah, and I like music. I really love music. Uh, those are the things I want to do for fun. If I could live anywhere in the world. Actually, I think I can live anywhere in the world. It's just about time, so. But I would want to live in somewhere like a calm place where I don't have to worry about, um, you know, conflicts and stuff. Yeah, so a calm place to live in, that's my favorite dream place. My dream vacation. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's just hard to describe it. Okay, why is everyone? I thought your video was off, Lawa. I mean, it's my time, so shut down your video if you haven't done it yet. If if I got a name and uh, if I got to name a new country, Africa, yeah. What do you think about <laughs> Abi Ahmed? <laughs> so Abi Ahmed is the the, pre, the the prime minister of Ethiopia, and uh, he's asking me what I think about him uh, because most people from where I live don't, doesn't like him. And what I think is, um, I don't like most politicians, so I mean most, um, because sometimes I feel like instead of serving their country, they're serving their ego. So I don't, uh, I don't like him and I don't hate him. Uh, he might, I don't, I don't know much to say I like or hate him because uh, I don't want to, I don't like politics and I don't know much to say about it. Yeah, but um, um, I think he's done some good things. I think, yeah. Even though some people might disagree. It's always been a 
What do I like about Yabi? Oh, uh, um, he's encouraging. He's very encouraging. I mean, like when I just um, when I feel like laying back and uh, doing some other things, and if I hear his voice or if I see him posting on Slack, it's, I get back to work immediately. So I like that 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 energy he brings and uh, that motivation and encouraging. Mm. And plus, he's relaxed. So that's what I like about him. Have you cried recently? Uh, no, I have not. Uh, not recently. I'm, I'm, I'm mostly. I'm, I'm not good at showing emotions. So, yeah, it's it's been a few times. The, the the times I cried are so few and major. How do you feel about Kenyan coffee? Like, Ethiopian coffee is the best. I mean, sorry guys, but uh, Ethiopian, it, like, if other coffees see Ethiopian coffees, they would just, um, they're feeling secure. And yeah, and I feel sorry for other coffees. But uh, yeah, Ethiopian coffee is the best, it's obvious. Plus, it's mostly homemade. I can actually make a good coffee that's better than. Uh, any coffee you think is good. So, mm -hmm. help us understand why you have popcorn. Mm -hmm. Why do they do that? <laughs> so, I think uh, it's just the culture, uh, it's a practice. So, mm -hmm. Maybe it tastes better with popcorns. Maybe that's why Ethiopian's coffee is good. Mm. Plus, it smells good and... Uh, yeah. uh, that's not true. You should study, study physics. Mm, should I? Uh, maybe I will. Like, maybe. That if I could go back to grade 12 and uh, choose what to study, then uh, I would probably choose that. Yeah. What's your favorite story about yourself? Uh, do I have a story? Um, mm, I'm not sure if I have a story to share, but uh, yeah, maybe I'll think about it. I need one. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go to the third one. What's your philosophy in life? Uh, my philosophy in life, I think, uh, um, yeah, uh, just define your own happiness and live up to it. Yeah, and uh, anything could happen. Um, yeah. And there's always different story to everything. Yeah, that's that's the best one. I think it might it seems obvious and yeah easy, but I think most of the time we try to we we mostly like forget those things. So yeah, let's just remember that there's there's always different story to everything. You never know. What are you most thankful for? Um, I'm thankful for like waking up in the morning. I'm thankful for my family. Uh, and I'm thankful uh, because I just have, I have a dream and I want to live up to it. And uh, yeah, and uh, it, everything, every simple things and uh, things doesn't matter to me. So yeah, I'm thankful I have that mindset. If I could get away with anything, what would I do? Um, what would I do? Um, Nothing on my mind. Laul, I'm probably better in Ethiopian dance than you are actually, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm open to learn whatever you got. 
if I could be a president of my country for an hour, what is the one thing that I would change? Uh, well, I would live for my people. That's what I would do. I'm positive. I am always positive. My day to day lunch. So I wake up very late, mostly for the stand ups. And um, yeah, I just do what I gotta do. Uh, and uh, I work out, I take a shower, and then I get back to work. My purpose in life is uh, investing in myself so that I can be, so that I can make myself useful. Do you regret being born in Africa? No, I don't. I don't. No, I don't. My favorite age is. Uh, probably 45 or 50 <laughs> yeah because I, I i think by that time i will be i will be calm and uh, you know i will not worry about uh, things because i know things are gonna pass and you know those people are very calm and they are just amazing so i want to see myself in that age i really do plus they know a lot uh, my favorite is uh, I don't think I do have uh, a right to choose what to eat because I don't cook and, uh, and that's my mom's logic actually, which doesn't make sense. Mm, so uh, it's hard for me to say this food, but I like anything that uh, maybe pasta. I eat that all the time. What would I change if I could go back in time? Um, uh, I think I would be more sociable. Of course, I, just, I still don't have the time, actually. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so if I could go back to high school or to school and stuff, so I think I would care about some of the things uh, that I did not care at that time. My favorite way to start a day is uh, exercise. <laughs> and the thing I have no, pa I'm actually very patient. So the uh, thing I don't have patience for. Mm, nothing. I, I, I'm always patient. Probably too much sometimes. What blows my mind? Success. What do I like about Pinya? Uh, he's very active. That's what I like about him. Like he may not. Um, it doesn't take him too much time to do something. He's just just do it all at at the same time. My location. I'll send you in your okay, my location. Uh, are you a mommy's or a daddy's girl? None actually. I am. Not a mom's girl or a daddy's girl. I'm always in my room with my PC, so. What brought me into data science? Um, so, like, I am, I, uh, my field of study is computer science and engineering, and it's, it's kind of broad, uh, very broad. I mean, uh, we have taken, like, uh, 
software courses, software development, and um, things like that, and and also some electrical electronics courses like like electronics, digital analog, and uh, yeah, things like that. So it's broad, and if but if I had to pick like the things I like from that. Uh, from what I have learned, then I think it would lead me to data science because I was into algorithms, I was into uh, things like that. So, yeah, so I think it's just the combination of all the good stuff. Um, I think I got lost. Um, do you have, a, do you love children? <laughs> Um, I like I like children. I love playing with ch children, and uh, yeah, but I don't plan to have one um, in like I mean in a short time. So I hope I will plan to have one. Are you religious? Um, Hello? Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello? I think the connection dropped. Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, thanks, everyone. It's too bad it ended like that, but have a good day.